Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today we're talking about another win, another weekend at the top of the table for Wolves, a 3-2 win against Preston North End. But without beating around the bush really, Wolves were second best for long periods in that game and I think really a fortunate to be coming away with the three points. First half I thought Preston were really good in possession and when they didn't have possession they pressed us like no other team has pressed us I think this season. Every time that we had the ball in midfield they had two players on us and our players seem to struggle really to find a way out because we've seen for so many games this season that we've been comfortable in possession uh, particularly at home and had large you know percentage of possession but Preston didn't let us do that and as a result stopped us from creating any chances and and really had the best of the first half that being said though Wolves went into half time 1-0 up thanks to a goal from Cavaliero uh, at the end of the first half which was a completely against the run of play but then changed the start of the second half because of that and they started quite well. The second goal came from Matt Doherty who also was involved in the build up to the first goal so I thought that he played quite well in that period as well. Uh, he got in inside their left back and was pulled down. I thought it was a penalty but possibly a little bit contentious but the penalty was coolly slotted away from Bonatini. As he was stepping up I was thinking oh no. The way that he stepped up wasn't very convincing. He sort of did one of those stuttering little run-ups which to me just spells that he's gonna miss but he slotted it away coolly making it 2-0 and then shortly after that there was uh, Wolves went 3-0 up from Bonatini as well. A goal which sort of he didn't know much about it. The ball rebounded back from the goalkeeper and hit him on his shoulder. I think I think there was a bit of an argument from the Preston players that it was a handball, but I don't think Bonatini knew anything about it and it trickled over the line to make it 3-0. But almost as soon as we went 3-0 up, Jordan Hughill, who Wolves were interested in signing back in the summer under Paul Lambert, scoring a very good headed goal, the ball coming across the box and then heading it back towards where it came from, past John Ruddy to make it 3-1, which was almost straight after our third goal, really, which got Preston's tails up. And then for the next 10 minutes or so, we just sort of... Wolves slowed the game down a little bit and controlled the game a little bit more until they made a double substitution, taking off uh, Cavaliero and Bonatini and putting on Costa and Ena Bakari. And straight away from that moment, there was a mix-up in the defence, Preston got behind our defenders and then Cody got his feet in a tangle and made it 3-2. And it, I thought, I was convinced that at that point it was going to be a, at least a draw. They had a number of chances as well, Preston, which they should have put away and Wolves were throwing bodies in front of the ball and stuff like that. But <clears throat> in general, we've got to look at the positive side of this. Uh, um, it's another three points and we're still top of the league, which is fantastic. And we beat a team who came and played very well against us as well. I thought Preston had been the best team uh, in terms of football and ability that we've seen. I particularly like Ben Pearson for them. For me, he's been the best player that we've come up against in central midfield. He really broke down play well, really busy. From my point of view, the referee didn't have the best of games. Uh, I don't really want to spend too much time talking about it because I think, particularly by me, there's a person who sits behind me who all he talks about is the referee rather than coming to support the team. It's as if he's an assessor. He comes to watch the referee and all he comments on is the referee's performance. He didn't really control the game and then towards the end in stoppage time, it got out of hand and as a result of that, to send a player off and then you had 20 odd players involved in a brawl in the middle of the pitch at the end of the game, which is not what anybody wants to see. Let me know what you thought about the referee down below. I don't want to spend too much time talking about it though. So let me know who your man of the match from today was. Personally, I'd go for Matt Doherty for his involvement in the first two goals. Uh, I think Roderick Miranda, there's room for improvement there. A couple of poor touches in the first half and a poor uses of the ball. Whereas last week nobody put a foot out of place, I didn't think. Today there is a lot of room for improvement. It's got to be said that we came up against a really tough team who came, closed us down really, really sharply and passed the ball well. And we beat them, so it's positive, it's really good, but there are a lot of things that need to have been improved from today's performance. Let me know what you thought of today's game in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on Wednesday after we beat Man City.